everybody, I am back at the property after a uh, nice 4th of July and a great summer vacation out to the coast. And I just got back to the property. It looks pretty good, except for a couple things that I noticed. So, this is where we left off. And yeah, uh, you can see that crack running down there. And then there's another one over here. So, <clears throat> one of my first orders of business is going to be resolving that. I think I'm just going to cut out, um, you know, wherever the cracks are, replace blocks that match up with it, but not lined up with the seams of another block. So, we'll have to do a little bit of repair here. Maybe in hindsight I should have wrapped this because look, this is see that that's not that's not good. We gotta get this we gotta get this fixed, y'all. Yeah, um, this wrap looks fine, and obviously this this wall held together really well. I don't notice any any type of movement. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, maybe I should have stayed a little bit longer and finished wrapping. Um, you know, hindsight. But, um, you know, you live and you learn. That's what this is all about. I'm about to unload the truck, set up my camp. I got my canoe this time. I think we're gonna have a good time. So I'm gonna try to be out here for two weeks and see what we get. So I'm gonna set up camp, do a uh, new moon ceremony, set up some intentions, and just get rolling, man. I'm ready to get this thing built. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. All right, love you guys. Touch base later. Hey, everybody. All right, so, again, this is my third week here. Uh, came back to the dome, and there was a crack. I actually have a little crack in my foundation. It's very small. See that? <clears throat> Which is a little disappointing because I thought I made it really thick, but, um, Someone told me that you need to water your foundation after you build it, so there's a tip for you. Uh, yes, I didn't have water set up here anyway, so it is what it is, all right? Um, yeah, so when I came back, there was two cracks in the foundation. Or there's one crack in the foundation, hairline crack, and then these bricks started going up. And like I said, I probably should have gone ahead and wrapped them because these, you know, these dry out, they're gonna move a little bit. It's better if you go ahead and solidify them, so. Today, I'm about to make some mortar and um, go ahead and I have to come back here, try to fit mortar in all these cracks. So I'm gonna rasp it kind of first um, and then I'm gonna try to push all the mortar in there because I didn't, I didn't put the mortar on before I put the, uh, the mesh. So, um, so yeah, you see like these areas, just gonna, all right. Um, and the same with this, yeah, and the same with this, and the same with this. So today's going to be a big mortar day. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling on that. And um, I didn't get any good cracks in that one, which is great. I'm going to start uh, making some mortar. And let's go. Let's get this bottom part all sealed up so we can start building up. I did a pour yesterday, so I got some bricks to use this week. Um, but I, I'm gonna be out here for a bit. So I'm gonna try to get this, get this going. All right, here we go. All right, so I got one uh, one bucket of mortar done. This is what it looks like after you. I'm just using these nitrile gloves, these black, those black uh, kind of latex gloves, and just pushing it in there. Honestly, it seems a lot easier than using a mortar or a, a trowel. Uh, this was the other part too. That looks, I know it looks sloppy y'all, but it doesn't really need to look nice because again, we're gonna wrap the whole thing. So this is really just for structural integrity. So you tie all the joints together after you rasp it. So um, I'm gonna hold off on doing the inside of this. And honestly, the only reason I did this uh, is because, again, I didn't put it on the other side, so I wanted to push it in, and I wanna make sure this wall's strong. Uh, this side, 
I'll probably just do the outside. I don't think I need to do the, the inside of it, as well as that. After I rasp it, of course, I'll do the mortar on the, uh, the inside. Um, but yeah, this is kind of where it's going. I probably need, after I do the bottom, I'm gonna start focusing on the windows. So let's mix up another batch of mortar and keep going. All right, I got the second round of mortar done. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Good job. I got a couple I left. Well, I mean, I ran out, but um, gotta do one more bag of one more or thing of mortar. Finish up those cracks. Do this one over here. Hell, I might go ahead and do the bottom too of these arches. Pay it says, pay, 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 make it up as you go, day. Make it up as you go. Cheers, everybody, and nice sparkling water right to you. So here's what's up. I um, it's hot outside, so I'm just kind of waiting, cooling myself down. Um, I got everything ordered and got a little more set up in my camp too. Um, and I got this this thing I kind of bought on a whim. I kind of bought it on a whim. Um, supposed to spray stucco. I'm thinking maybe also the uh, mortar uh, or the, uh, the, the mortar for the wrap um, because it has filtered sand and stuff. Anyways, here it is. Cool, huh? Yeah, I just need to get a tripod so I can stop using my hands. Anyways, um, I'm going to try to figure out how to use this because I think it'll make it go quicker and do double patches and just kind of blow it on, let it stick, and then blow another layer on. That's my thoughts. <sighs> but I wish the sun would let up a little bit. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's, see, let's see what happens. <sighs> it is hot. Alright, so I did three buckets of this stuff. And this is how far three buckets get you. So, if I do my math right, we're talking one, two, three, about three feet a bucket. Three and a half feet a bucket. So, I, uh, I wanted to go ahead and wrap this whole thing today. Now, I didn't start using that, that compressor thing for two reasons. One, I don't have the right fitting for it, so I can't use it. Duh. And two, I wanted to get familiar again with this process because again, this is going around the whole house, inside and out. And I know there's gotta be a better way because this is sloppy, especially trying to put it on a flat wall. I bet you when it's like on the dome, it's easier to apply, but you're like smacking it and it's like splashing. You're like, oh. <laughs> and so it can, you know, crouch down, it kind of hurts your back a little bit. So I'm gonna take a break think about this because uh, this is you know I got a long way to go on this and this is a slow process so I need to think about going ahead and getting pieces for that because that would be better to have something that sprays on and you roll it up and you spray it on again right I don't know we'll try we'll see I don't know he's looking at you kid all right it's coming on to an ending of the day. It's probably about seven o'clock. Um, I got most of it wrapped, figured out a good method on how to get the stuff up there as you're working with it. So this is as far as I got. Got all the way around this cylinder dome. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll do this on the other side, that dome. I gotta work a little bit more here, mortar it up. But yeah, I'm just going to go three feet, and, and the uh, one in Tulum, we, we did this first, and then wrap, you know, threw the whole thing over it. Um, but we had to come back in and cut, you know, each of them to be, you know, stacked on the other. So I was just like, well, I'll just do it all, all as, I, as I go. So yeah, I can't wait to start stacking bricks, because looking at this and seeing the same progression, 
height wise is kind of like oh, I've been out here for two you know two days now and I haven't even stacked one brick well man sometimes you don't stack a brick you know sometimes you just do the mortar so that's what I'm doing that's the job that's the task at hand and uh, yeah we'll just keep on going boys and girls and everyone in between all right Love you guys.